Hi, so I'm going to demonstrate here how to create a network share without using a VM. So this network share will not be attached to a VM. If I go to my storage account and I click on files, you see I have a choice here uh, called file shares. And if I click on file shares, I can name it anything I want. And I could adjust the size of it. So I can name it file share central. US and I could put 120 gigabytes. Now I already have one created here. So I'm going to show you if I go to my file share, you'll notice it'll bring up a container here for the file share. And if I click connect, it'll give me a set of strings for both Unix and Windows that I could do the connection. So I am going to copy this and go up to my VM and you'll notice I have this command now this will need a password so let me go back and show you where the password comes from so if I go you'll, you'll notice here it says the storage account access so if I go back to my storage account you'll notice here there's the access keys and I could click on access keys and it will have here access keys that I could change and renew so I am gonna copy this key here and go back up to my VM and you'll notice uh, I've constructed the command here and I am gonna attach it to the Z drive so uh, what I can do here is um, just copy and paste this and you'll notice currently I don't have a Z drive uh, so I'm going to run this command and attach the file share to my VM and you'll notice here the file share appeared and it's now the Z drive and if I click on it you'll notice I already have some files now I have another VM here which I've already attached I'm gonna go to this other VM and I am gonna disconnect this share and I'm gonna reconnect it manually to show you how to do it manually so I'm just in file explorer here and I am gonna right click on this PC or my computer and I am gonna say map network drive and I've chosen the Z drive and now the folder within that command I'm just gonna copy this URL or this uh, file share location. Now I could also connect via not just in Windows Azure but also remotely uh, even from my desktop outside of Azure. And I'm going to say copy using different credentials. I'm going to click finish. Now I've already I've already logged in so this is my username and this is my password which was the access key and I am going to paste the password here. I'm going to click OK and you'll notice now my file share is attached and once again I do have the as you notice I am going to create a new folder here. And when I create the new folder and I go to the other VM you notice it's here and also um, but that's really it. That is how you would create a network file share without needing to create a VM. And again, this attaches also to Linux and it does use the SMB 3.0 network file sharing protocol. So it's very compatible with um, everything else. And uh, you will have to open up, I believe it's uh, port 455. Um, so, but uh, uh, definitely look that up. I, I, I can't uh, remember it off, off the top of my head, but look for the SMB 3.0 protocol port uh, in case you are basically attaching it outside of Azure. Uh, but that's really it, and that's really what I wanted to demonstrate, and thank you for watching.